The U.S. Supreme Court has granted a last-minute extension to controversial pandemic border restrictions first introduced under Donald Trump. Title 42, as it's known, allows authorities to turn back migrants without giving them a chance to apply for asylum. Magda Gabra Salase is in Washington with more on this. What happens now that the court has uh, extended this measure, Magda? Well, Heather, we have been seeing a, a lot of people continue to try to cross over and, and, and make it here into the U.S. in large numbers. But what this means is that border officials can continue to send people away. And we know that this policy, since it's been in place, millions of people have been forced out this way. And with it scheduled to expire on Wednesday, uh, recently along the border in Mexico, there have been tens of thousands of migrants seen there uh, anticipating this uh, expiration. They've been camping out outside in the cold. Some are, are making their way into shelters, sleeping on hard floors. And there was one man uh, in a shelter in the city of Juarez where he said he, he was waiting uh, for the end of Title 42 to see what would happen to him and the others. Now, here in the U.S., you've had some officials pushing back on this. You had some 19 Republican states putting up that legal fight, trying to keep uh, the policy in place. So take a listen to Texas Governor Greg Abbott. If the courts do not intervene uh, and, and put a halt to the removal of Title 42, it's going to be total chaos. Whether it's COVID or some other issue, when you have people coming across the globe without knowing at all what their health status is, that almost by definition is a public health risk. There's every reason to keep that in place. So now the Supreme Court has intervened. There is this temporarily, temporary hold uh, on this policy expiring. Uh, and President Joe Biden now has until about 5 o'clock Eastern time today to, to file a response to this. So, Heather, it does sound like the court wants to move quickly on making a decision on this. So I guess we'll wait to see how it all plays out. Many cities, though, we know, MACTA, have been struggling to keep up with the numbers of people who have already arrived. And how are they coping with all of this? Yeah, and you know, it's not just the southern states. We have seen uh, migrants being bused to other location. New York says it's taken in some 31,000 people so far. The mayor there was warning recently that it could mean uh, a cut in services to, to help to continue to, to care uh, for the people arriving there. And in El Paso, Texas, they're over, overwhelmed by this crisis. Uh, the mayor there called a state of emergency because of just how many people were, were coming in and were actually sleeping out in the cold uh, before uh, the temporary hold on Title 42 uh, being lifted was actually announced. Here's what he had to say. And to some of our federal partners, they really believe that on Wednesday our numbers go, will go from 2,500 to four, or five, or maybe 6,000. And uh, when I asked them, I said, do you believe that you guys can handle it today? The answer was no. So again, for now, Title 42 remains in place. Uh, we'll have to see what uh, President Biden has to say about that and how this all plays out in the end, Heather. Magda, thank you. Magda Gabra Salase is in Washington.